Statistics and Excel. Issue with five number summary and box plot. Got data? Let's get stuck into it with statistics and Excel. Although we'll be using OneNote here, but we're gonna talk about Excel too. You're not required to, but if you have access to OneNote, we're in the icon, left-hand side, OneNote presentation, 1422 issues with five number summary and box plot tab. We're also adding our transcripts so that you can go to the view tab, immersive reader tool, changing the language if you so choose, being able to either read or listen to the transcripts in multiple languages, using the timestamps to tie in to First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our CPA six-pack shirts. A must-have for any pool or beach time. Mixing money with muscle, always sure to attract attention. Yeah, even if you're not a CPA, you need this shirt. So you can like pull in that iconic CPA six pack stomach muscle vibe, man. You know, that CPA six pack everyone envisions in their mind when they think CPA. Yeah, as a CPA, I actually and unusually don't have tremendous abs. However, I was blessed with a whole lot of belly hair. Yeah, allowing me to sculpt the hair into a nice CPA six pack like shape which is highly attractive. Yeah, may maybe the shirt will help you generate some belly hair too. And if it does, make sure to let me know. Maybe I'll try wearing it on my head. A and yes, I know six pack isn't spelled right, but three letters is more efficient than four. So I trimmed it down a bit, okay? It's an improvement. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com for the video presentation. OneNote desktop version here, data on the left hand side, two data sets this time creatively named data A and data B. We're going to do some of our standard stats on both data sets, including the mean or average, the min, quartile one, median or quartile two, quartile three, and the max. We'll also create a box and whiskers for both data sets, otherwise known as a box plot. And we will see that although both data sets are very different, we're going to come up with similar stats or the same stats and basically the same image in the form of a box plot. Now, this is given to highlight the fact that sometimes these stats, although important and very useful, uh, may not be all we need in order to, to get a real grasp of the data, especially when we're thinking about the spread of the data. How, how is it basically populated, say, around uh, the middle point. So if we look at these two data sets, they've been specially put together so that we, all these stats are going to work out like this. But the general concept uh, is the idea here. So we've got data set A, we've put them in order from smallest to largest, 50, 75, 75, 100, 100, 100, 125, 125, 150. Data set B, 50, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75 125, 125, 125, 125, and 150. Now, if I look at our stats then for data set A, we can take our average, which is simply uh, adding up all the numbers and then dividing by the count, or we can use the Excel formula, the average formula, we get to 100. And then if I do the min, meaning take the smallest number, we can see in data set A, it is 50. And if I do the calculation in Excel, it would be equal to min, and that would automatically give us the 50. Quartile one, so now we're picking the middle number in the, the first quartile, breaking it out into quartile 75. And if I was to uh, do that in Excel, I would have the quartile function. It has a second argument, making sure that we put the comma and then the one, picking up the 75. Then the median, or quartile two is the middle number. So we order it all and pick the one in the middle, which is gonna be the 100. We can also do that with the median formula or function in Excel, or we can use the quartile function and then comma two. 
median function is usually the one that's going to be used it's easier it's faster you only have one argument instead of two to do it and then quartile three is going to be like the middle point of the last quartile 125 same quartile formula but the argument on the second argument is a two if you did that in excel and then the maximum is 150 150 now and that would be a max formula here now if we did the same thing uh for for b or this i'm sorry this is going to be the box and whiskers so we've got our box and whiskers representing our numbers here and you can see these numbers being represented the 100 average is the same in this case as uh, the median the uh, 50 the 75 the 125 and the 150 uh, 125 and the 150 okay so now I think I put it underneath here <laughs> let's go to data set B so here's our two data sets again I'm focused on let's just open data set B this time so now if I look at data set B the average if I took the average and added up data set B I once again get to 100 which is the same as what we had for data set A I'll just open both of these so they come out the same it's like okay well that's kind of weird because the data sets are clearly different right these are different data sets pretty dramatically different so if I go to, to the min I get to the same number so it's like whoa is this like this am I is this just the same numbers the same data set let's take a look at quartile one if I took quartile one for data set B versus data set A I get the same number which is like that's weird and then the median if I look at the median I get the same number the middle point and then if I look at the quartile three again I get the same number down here and then if I look at the maximum I get the same number and if I was to then do the do a box plot because I got all the same numbers you would think the box plot would basically look the same so here's the box plot for data set B that we saw versus data set A now if I look at the histograms they they do show us the difference right so the box plot isn't giving us because this is that kind of five numbers but the histogram uh, does give us that because it gives us that kind of middle point so the histogram gives us an idea if i break it out in a histogram I'm, I'm saying well these are substantially different when i think about these data sets in terms of how the data is spread around that middle point so you can see here you've got that middle point you know looking looking more like a you know the the curve in the middle it's popular more the data sets in the middle and then they they spread out this way on the right hand side uh and the middle point uh, or the average and and the median both coming out to be a 100 and here somewhere down here although you get the same median and uh uh average there is nothing in this middle point and the data is still over to the side but we still get all the same numbers we still get the same average we still get the same you know middle number even and the quartiles now this isn't likely that you're going to get all the same numbers right this is a pretty specially designed data set so all of these numbers line up but you can get the idea here the idea is that these numbers although quite important useful to be calculating don't always give you everything you need especially with regards possibly to the spread of the data like around the center point which is going to be our point of focus when we get to things like uh, the standard deviation and the variance so these two box plots you can see are exactly the same for uh, data b and data a and then the histograms do give us that indication and so our focus is in on on this kind of concept right now with this spread which we want to be able to summarize it would be nice uh, numerically if we could as well as well as pictorially with like a histogram and so we'll get into some calculations based which are, will be the you know the standard deviation and the variance in future presentations